In this presentation, we're going to look at item availability for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. So let's go to an item card and we have the item availability by with several options. So let's start with the location. Here you have the projected available balance, location by location. And you can change the period. So here you see the date filter is changed. So if you don't see the date filter, you have to show the filter pane. And when we change the period, the date filter is changed. We can drill down. So let's see, let's drill down on the gross requirements. And we see there is four items. Here we can display the timeline and change to show the balance at date of the net change. So our four that have been changed just in the month of October. Let's look now at time availability by event. So and let's put that per week. So anytime when there is a change, we show it here. So on the week 41, we have a sales order or purchase order. We can show, go to the document. So let's go to the purchase order and we buy a bicycle is meant to arrive on the 11th of October. We can include forecast, planning suggestions, blanket orders. So another one pretty similar is the availability by period. This time each period is going to be shown even if there is no event. And in the same way we can see the net change or the balance at date. Availability by timeline. <coughs> It's a graphic, same thing, but with a graphical representation. And we can, in the same way, click to see when there is a particular event, like uh, goods coming in. And we can include a planning suggestion also. Now to finish, let's go to the item availability by boom level, bill of material. It is relevant when the item is manufactured, like in this case we see all the components. So all the components needed to make, needed to make this item are shown. We can change the date, the period that we want to see it. And we have a graphical representation showing the inventory, the schedule received, gross requirements.